Welcome back you Jervis to my channel. If you're new to my channel and you're just landed on my page, I welcome you all with open arms. My name is Espia Ansel. I'm all about talking about my life journey with Asperger's syndrome and the like as well as creating health and awareness along the way of also being a motivator, educator, inspirational, motivational tool or resource or what have you you want to call me as. Basically, I'm here to hopefully share with you what's been on my heart and mind regardless what it is as well as based on my training and experience of what I've been through in life versus my just learning curve. Hopefully that you guys will learn something online. So without further ado guys, basically this is, this is just going to be a few letter series that I forgot to add up, even though there's going to be quite a few in that Dear Letter series in my Beauty From Ashes channel. But hopefully some of these Dear Letter series be a motivational encouragement to you all and learning something from me or learning from this little messages of hope, hopefully we'll call it, that will come of use to you when you're down and out, regardless what it may be. So don't for the day guys, this one's called gonna be called to the ones that has hoped that hopes so much basically, which basically I know I'm one of them that hopes on so much about people for change or whatever it may be. But as you know basically in our day everyday life that you know no matter what we go through, even though we tend to question the what is quarter bees, the would bees, should bees and all the like that do we really want to change it regardless what it may be you know even though things happen for a reason regardless what it is so let's begin you know who you are to the ones I'm addressing to this sort of thing today of the ones that's hope so much me included as I'm sharing this message of hope to you but then the people who are, these are the type of people that wishes the best lot of things in life for others around them be it whatever it may be despite the fact that you know well, the type of people that just keep on being positive but always carry the smiles, always basically, you know, thinks the best out of everything regardless if soon, sooner things come out to life. We are the ones who maybe refuse to believe that a situation is impossible to overcome. Obviously, the impossibilities can be a possibility with the right frame of attitude and right state of mind, basically, of our way of thinking into creating those possibilities. We are the type of ones that hopes for the best for the people that we expect that we come and meet and greet in our lives for anyone in our circle and anything at any given moment of time. However, we are the type of people that hopeful that will believe that they'll change regardless, but then again that they will do the world of good even though we know some people may choose to not want to change, but we will still continue to bless them and actually just you know forgive them if they were in our circle doing us some harm or wrong in our everyday age. Um, we are the light of the group, however, constantly responsible for providing the boost of faith that everyone needs sometimes, regardless of where they are at in their lives with their struggles and all that, and hope, we're hoping that they will return that retrospect back to us no matter what it may be. We radiate some strength, you know, happiness and strength. When things get rough, we are the ones that will keep on smiling and just keep on walking forward. We are the ones, basically who may not always have hope though however but share it with the world as we are the backbone of society we are the backbone of basically the whole world around us be it whatever it may be you know we are the kind of people that who hopes the most basically we'll try to keep the world afloat and keep it a better brighter place but let's be real and honest here to be honest with you all as i'm sharing this with you all it's sometimes really hard to be hopeful all the time however we are always expected to be the ones constantly cheering at you, expected to be cheery and smiling regardless what we may be hiding in the infrastructure and ourselves of what we're going through, being in a mask, as I said before, my mask of depression. But in your world there are no bad days. Let's be real. You may feel drained because you are constantly giving more than you should be or you're giving more support than you receive by others. The other takers were the, were the receivers or givers in this world. Because according to everyone else, we may have it all together in our lives, regardless what it may be. Even though, you know, truth to be told, it's not always the case. You want the best for everyone in every situation. Hell yeah, I'm one of them. Sometimes you want it so bad that you can't imagine a way that it could ha not happen. But then life steps in and it knocks us down, however. Or even hold us back and down. Like you never had a chance in the first place to show who you are and what you are in reality. That deflation, that feeling of your old hope twisting on you until you feel your chest is being crushed is so overwhelming to the point that you just want to really scream, shout and all these other mixed emotions, feelings just overwhelms you to the point that, you know, you know it's not fair. You want to just do the best you can just to actually not 
be the selfish one or the petty one saying why me and all that when the world comes crashing down on you why do you have to be happy all of the time why should people constantly expect you to give and give until you feel like there is nothing left to give in the first place the truth is you really don't have to no one expects you to stretch yourself so thin however then spread yourself so thinly like a tin of margarine spreading on a bread that you're no longer capable of functioning these burdens you feel are most likely reflections of your own expectations on yourself or for yourself however not what others may think happiness and hopefulness however are the choices that we have all come to make for ourselves but it's okay just for a little bit when we need someone else to provide a positive point of view for us sometimes it's important and it's okay to put ourselves first in some situations regardless even if it does feel selfish to a point that pe many people won't understand us to the core your friends and family will understand that this is something you just have to do even though you may have put yourself on the back burner like I have basically and to care for others around you and if they don't then you honestly don't need that in your life self care is extremely underrated these days but it's very important however for all of us for our mental state, state versus our physical and spiritual health if hope is hard for you then take a step back and rethink what you're being hopeful for is it something that is actually really unrealistic is it something you want or someone else wants out of you or from you or for you why do you want it though is the big question wishing and hoping aren't meant to be positive emotions but sometimes we get so attached to all the negative emotions or the negative experiences that we have come to realize that we're hoping for we wish for the wrong things or the wrong reasons we set unrealistic expectations visions dreams goals on events and people which doesn't which because people aren't perfect leads to disappointment having these tech expectations and sinners however we need to be sure to keep in mind that the other person's personality as well that we come across this isn't meant to tell you to stop hoping however what I, what I'm saying is quite the opposite actually keep dreaming keep living keep breathing you know keep wishing just remember that if life knocks you down however regardless or holds you back take a step step up again brush it all off think it's okay if it hits you harder than others you know it's okay to grieve and grow because it's part of reality and part of our real life stories well more than a type of disappointment that we you know face or the heartache that may weigh us down because as we know that for the people that are hoping so much the world around us needs more people like us however well that basically ends the second part of our letter series right now of the one of basically to the ones that hope so much basically give me a like feel thumbs up for support and engagement comment below if you feel the need or have to feel free to share the videos to family and friends feel free to actually also follow me on twitter facebook as being answers all thanks for your support do what you love love what you do until next time have a great day i'll see you all soon